Fire Eagle One in the building. Back again with another video. So look, the season is almost here, and then training camp getting even closer. But we just got the 2022 schedule, and it's not looking too bad. I feel like the path is very bright, very very bright. But first thing first, we got the Lions up next. I like this matchup. I like it a lot. For the first game, they couldn't get any more better. What we did to Detroit last year has to continue on to this year. But Miles Sanders has to start off, like, mind-blowing. He has to get his touchdowns that he didn't get last season. This is just a perfect warm-up game. Jalen Hurts has to throw all over the field to warm that arm up. Get A.J. Brown in the mix. This is beautiful. So I feel like... Detroit Lions going to have to get the worst, take that L, and it's at their home. So I'm liking this one all around. Want to know to start the season. Next up, week two, we got the Vikings. I like that game a lot. It's prime time. Kirk Cousins, man, this is going to be a good second game because Kirk Cousins is one of those guys that can play lights out or he can play just roll over and die status. So. Who knows? We might get the good, Kurt. We might get the bad, but we're going to have to be prepared. And I like the Vikings for the second matchup. So I'm going to say that's a um, I'm gonna say that's a win. I'm going to take that as a win. And it's at the link, so we're not going to take that loss. Can't take it at the link. So 2-0 to start the season. Week 3, we got the Washington Commanders. Carson Wentz coming up. He's making his deep debut over there. They got a top defense. This can go either way. but And they're coming to, oh, no, we're going to FedEx Field on that one. So the birds got to travel to the commanders on that one. Go visit Carson Wentz. He's going to have a lot to prove. Man, this is going to be one of them up and down games, but I feel like it's going to come down to the wire. We're going to have to pull this one off. So birds get 3-0, three and, three and oh, start the season. That's a good start. Week four, we got the Jags. And who's at the Jags now? Doug Peterson, the guy that won that championship with us. So I'm happy Doug got another job. He's over there in Jacksonville. Shout out to him, but this is all business. We're going to have to take care of Doug Peterson like we take care of every other team in the beginning of the season. So Doug is going to have to get no exceptions. Sorry, Doug, but we're going to have to take care of business. The Jags are going to have to learn his his way of play. I give it another year or two, and then the Jags should be up to par. But this year, they're going to have to get that whooping. So what is that, four? Wait, yep. I want to say that's four wins right there. Four wins to start the season. I like that good start, good start. Compared to last season, we had a lot of juggernaut teams off the bag. This one, completely different. So 4-0, and oh, I like that. Week 5, we got the Cardinals. And we're traveling to the State Farm. Man, this is going to be another tough one. We got Kyler Murray. He feels like he got a lot to prove. He has some things going on in the offseason, deleting stuff off his Instagram. People thinking he was going to switch teams. A lot of bad blood over there. Carson Wentz got his contract. So they got a lot to prove over there. So who knows? And it's at their home. It's going to be tough for the birds. But the, the birds might have to fight it out. It's going to come down to the wire. Cardinals going to have to play their best. They ain't got Hopkins. But I feel like they might get this win at the end of the game. It might come down to the wire. They might pull it off. So Cardinals, I feel like, going to hand us that first L. Not too bad. That's a team that... A lot of people are going to lose, too. So, no shame in losing the Cardinals. So, week six, we're going into the Cowboys. And they traveling over to the link. Dak Prescott. Still Dak Prescott. We got uh, C.D. Lamb over there still. Still doing his thing. Michael Gallup is over there still doing his thing. But if we can get pieces to stop them. Darius Slay. Got to shut down C.D. Lamb. We need somebody over there on the other side. Shut down Michael Gallup, but... Who knows? That spot needs to be filled still. But Ezekiel Elliott running them yards like he used to, not happening no more because Jordan Davis is going to shut all that down. Brandon Graham, back in the session, Ezekiel Elliott is barely going to even do anything in my book, all right? 
So I feel like we're gonna get that win. What is that? Five and one. Five and one to start the season. So really good start. Really, really good start. Week seven, going into the bye after we whoop on them cowboys. I like that. Cause I usually like the bye at the end. So we can rest up before playoffs. But if you get the bye out the way, all the players will be recognizing what's going on in the division, what's going on in the league. So I, I feel like week seven is a good buy. And after the buy, week eight, we got the Steelers. Man, the Steelers lost their main quarterback, Roethlisberger. Really good quarterback in my book, but a lot of people were seeing this degress. He was dropping off a cliff at the end of his play. So shout out to Roethlisberger for getting the Steelers where they needed to be. And they got stuff done, but now they got a new quarterback. We got to whoop on them a little bit, all right? He's going to take some time to develop. They still got Juju over there. A lot of good pieces, so I feel like that quarterback still going to need work. That's a win right there, so. Week 9. Oh, man, Texans. I like this one a lot. Texas, we're going to have to get that win. We're not used to playing the Texans a lot. But we're traveling to the NRG Stadium. <laughs> this is going to be an iffy one because Texans can come with all kind of things. Never know. So I'm going to say we're going to take that. That's another win right there. The Commanders, again, Week 10. I like this. Week 10, Carson Wentz, he feels like we got that first win on him. He might want some, he might want some revenge. So he might come back. And that's at the link. They traveling again. I like this game also. So Carson Wentz going to have to show out on the second game. We're going to have to blow them out. Two games in a row. Sweep uh, Washington Commanders. Sweep them out of the water. All right. And week 11, the Colts. Frank Wright. All of them over there. They got Matty Ice. No more over there at the Falcon. Now he's over there at the Colts. So now we got to deal with Matt Ryan with the Colts. Frank Wright knows how to use his quarterbacks. This is a good, good game right here. I like this one. And we're traveling to the Colts' home. Uh, I'm going to say this is a win. We're going to have to beat uh, Frank Wright. He knows our whole system. He knows how we play. But we're still going to have to beat him. That's a dub right there. So, Colts, that's a win. Week 12, uh, the Packers. They just lost Devontae Adams. Went over, went to the Raiders. Man, he had to get paid. Same as Tyreek wanted to get paid. Went to the Dolphins, left Kansas City. A lot of people want to get paid. So Packers lost their main wide receiver. I don't know what Aaron Rodgers is going to do. But they drafted a couple wide receivers. Let's see how that's going to turn out. But I don't think they're going to win this game. So <laughs> that's week 12. Sorry, Aaron Rodgers, but we're going to have to get this win back. All right? So we're going to beat the Packers week 12. They're going to have to take that L. And they travel into the link. So they're going to need Devontae Adams. Sorry. All right? Week 13, Titans. Looks like A.J. Brown is going to have a familiar face to run across. And they're traveling over to the link. So they're going to have to visit A.J. Brown in his new home like this game a lot. A.J. Brown has a lot to prove. He's going to go crazy. And it looks like Jalen Hurts is going to have to go for like a couple thousand. That boy, at least, I want to say a couple hundred yards. <laughs> a couple thousand going out of the park. But if Jalen can throw a couple hundred, that's even better with me. All right. So that's going to be a throwing game. Titans going to have to get that L. Sorry. All right. And the uh, Giants up next, week 14. <sighs> Giants thought they were doing something last season, getting that win against us like that. This season, we're going to have to sweep them. I'm sorry. So, Saquon Barkley and all them, they good, good players. I like Saquon, but that's not enough over there. They got a couple good pieces in the draft, top draft picks that the Cowboys wanted. So, Cowboys messed up on those picks. Giants got them. So, I'm going to say week 14 against the Giants. That's a win right there. So, week 15, on to Chicago Bears. And we're traveling to Soldier Field on that one. 
They got fields. They got a couple good pieces still over there, but I feel like it's not enough. So week 15 against the Bears, that's another win right there. Week 16, back on the Dallas, and we're traveling to Jerry's World on this one. Oh, man, every time we travel to Jerry's World, something goes on. But I feel like we're going to have to pull this one out of our socks. So going to have to get this win. Dak Prescott's just going to have to learn that. Jalen Hurts is something else, and this Eagle team is not the same. So I feel like this season, this year, we're sweeping the Cowboys. Y'all hearing here, here first. Got to sweep them, all right? That's an L for the Cowboys. Week 17, we got the Saints. We got the Saints number for sure. They lost their safety, Malcolm Jenkins over there. Man, they looking all bad. They got Michael Thomas back. Alvin Kamara's back, but... We whooped them last year. We're going to whoop them this year. So another win. Getting to get, winning against the Saints. I like this one. So week 17, we, we, we whooped them with Drew Brees. We're going to have to whoop them without them. All right? So we're traveling to Fox Stadium on this one, handing them that L. Let's go. And last but not least, we have the Giants. Going to have to finish this season off strong. Saquon Barkley and all them going to have to fill the raft. Man, gonna have to beat them at least by 15. So that's to finish the 2022 schedule going into the playoffs because I feel like we will get the playoffs and the division. So sweeping most of the division. Uh, you guys heard it here first. All right. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys think about this one. And I will see you guys in the next video. PR Eagle signing off.